back to Varco uh, because we're expecting some really strong, probably 30 knots or so uh, northwesterly winds tomorrow. Uh, but in the end, we've, uh, we've changed our mind and we're going to go to Meganisi to the east. And we expect to get some good shelter, shelterage in one of the anchorages down there. So the time is sort of 2 p.m., 2.30, uh, 3 o'clock. And well, we've got about 14 knots of wind in terms of gusts, so steady 11 knots, and we're doing between 4 and 5. Uh, so yeah, we just left. You can see the uh, cutter. The reason why we chose not to go to Varco is the wind was just a bit too dead behind us, literally 180 degrees. Uh, so we would have to play around with the sails a bit and yeah, we decided just to get on a bit of a reach at this point and uh, sail through to Meganisi. So, what else? We pulled up on the water. Filled up with 30 liters of diesel, and we'll hope to find diesel in Meganisi. And that's it. Yeah, I reckon that's it for now. se fue, tomó sus cosas y se puso a navegar, una camisa, un pantalón vaquero y una canción, ¿dónde irá? ¿dónde irá? Se despidió y decidió batirse en duelo con el mar. Y recorrer el mundo en su velero y navegar, na, 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 navegar. Y se marchó y a su barco le llamó libertad. Y en el cielo descubrió gaviotas y pintó estelas en el mar. Y se marchó. Su barco le llamó libertad y en el cielo descubrió gaviotas y pintó estelas en el mar. Su corazón una forma diferente de vivir pero las olas le gritaron vete con los demás na, na, na. los demás y se durmió y la noche le gritó dónde vas y en sus sueños dibujó gaviotas y pensó Hoy debo regresar y regresó y una voz le preguntó. So we've arrived uh, a little while ago in a small bay. This bay is called, I'm just going to read it so I don't destroy the name, Ormos Remintanao. And we are one of three boats which are here we've got uh, our stern lines or, or lines ashore super nice little bay and we are here because we're expecting some northwesterlies tomorrow and uh, we decided this should give us a decent amount of shelter 
whether or not we'll have to re-anchor maybe point our bow into into where the wind is most likely coming from uh, we'll see but otherwise we're already good uh, I don't know too much about this place except that there's a small village about 15 minutes walking from here we haven't yet been but we'll make a plan to go and there is I think it's a taverna with uh, one of the oldest buildings on the island so uh, we'll have to confirm that but that's what I've heard yeah so anchoring here it's a um, sandy bottom with seagrass and it took us three attempts actually to um, to set the anchor well enough that it actually held uh, the first two times it it drug, dragged <laughs> and yeah done it did a good job of swimming ashore and tying off the the shorelines uh, later I just went because the rocks are quite jagged here where we need to tie onto so I put a piece of chain around it with a shackle and a lock just to have that redundancy and uh, tied the line onto the chain so that's where we are and what we've been up to uh, the sail was was all right today the wind the wind was a little bit all over the place but uh, we had a comfortable sail let's put it that way and it was about three hours crossing uh, i guess and we were considering a couple of other anchorages along the way uh, but they were quite full and According to Navali, this anchorage is often not uh, full or very few boats and that's the case luckily enough for us today Yeah So anyway, uh, the, the general rule of thumb is that you tie lines ashore here, but there is a very shallow area uh, where we could just drop our anchor and swing uh, but we decided we need the practice and we really do so uh, Yeah, three attempts today and I guess that's um, given us a yeah, decent amount of practice and Let's see what tomorrow brings If the wind comes through we'll be happy that we're here if it doesn't this place is very pretty So we're still pretty chuffed um, Yeah I don't think we'll be moving tomorrow and I'd like to do some fishing so we'll see in the afternoon uh, maybe I can get some sea bass potentially yeah as I say I don't have rods I've got like a small rod which I bought in the winter just to catch trout in the in one of the rivers um, outside of Preveza I'm not giving away my secrets but yeah so I use that every now and then and if I get into a decent sea bass it's gonna be like uh, catching a tarpon or something anyway four and a half minutes of this clip uh, I guess we'll call it Cool, so we are still here <laughs> and we're going to spend another night Today the bay has filled up quite a bit more Well, quite a bit, another like five boats And two more just arrived and left Because, yeah, it's a small bay so it's getting quite full You can see another one attempting to come in Anyway, we've got a good spot So that's all that matters really We can swim to shore Yeah, we just swam to shore uh, Well, a couple of times, few times a day so far Well, today uh, for the dogs, of course, and for us to take a walk. Yeah. 
going to a little beach now over here. Mm, it's a tiny little like cove, really small, enough for us basically. And yeah, nice swimming. This morning we forgot the GoPro. Uh, so now it's this afternoon. <laughs> for at least I don't know one hour at least looking at boats pulling in and a bit of chaos trying to choose where to tie ashore people come in and then leave I just need to grab my popcorn now to keep on <laughs> <laughs> the entertainment of the day we were alone this morning at some point we were just two boats here I saw the sunrise it was amazing and now how many boats are we Plenty. So yeah, there's this boat here tied ashore. There's a dinghy on the other side of that, like a rib. There's two boats on swinging anchors. Little boat there, tied ashore. Two boats there, tied ashore. These guys just rocked up, tied ashore. On the other side of them, there's a power boat also tied ashore, and the, a few boats since have come and left. And yeah. I reckon we we'll, we can expect some more boats trying to fit in here. Yeah. yeah, there is a bit more space, um, but obviously we don't any, we don't want anyone else beside us on either side. So let's hope for the best. And the wind the wind hasn't really come through yet, and it's not even in the forecasted direction. So uh, we'll hope that it doesn't arrive because we aren't too well protected if it's, if it's blowing northeasterly, which is like this direction. Northwesterly is there and we would be perfect and that's why we, we parked up, we moored here where we are. But yeah, we'll see. Well guys, we've decided to leave this morning. 
and we've just uh, undid the shorelines and we're busy motoring out of the bay. been a really nice place to stop by uh, but we're gonna head on to to Mitikas which is about eight miles from here in an easterly direction and we're gonna stop there probably just drop the hook to go collect some fuel and then we're gonna head south from there down to the island of Kalamos and there is a, a main anchorage I'm not going to try and say the name um, where we're gonna stop over for the for the night maybe a night or two we'll just take it as it comes but yeah uh, there's not much wind forecast for today and whatever there is maybe 10 knots uh, it's kind of throughout the day turning turning around veering I think it is and so at the moment it's blowing southeasterly and then it's going to change to south and then on to westerly and the uh, prevailing northwesterlies for the rest of the day until um, early tomorrow morning where it starts blowing northeasterly again uh, yeah so anyway on the east of Calamos we will be nicely sheltered for for tonight Really, if we decided to stay at Mitikas also, we will have decent shelterage. Uh, so, we'll see how it goes. We'll just uh, keep updating as we make our decisions. But yeah, for now, we're going to throw up the sails. And we'll see how far that gets us.